All right, guys. So I haven't made a video, a RC of in a while, but I got an idea the other day, and I got some parts in. So let's have a look at what I'm going to do. All right. So we all know that this RC10 GT is run on various different types of fuel, like zero percent and anything in between that. But I was cruising around eBay, and I found something that was really interesting. Uh, hang on a second here. I found, and it's way the hell too long, but um, this is a GG, oh, there it is so I can show you, GG, or for gas, G-series glow engines. So in other words, this is a glow plug designed to burn gasoline, not nitro. I know what you're thinking. What the hell? All right, well, um, obviously it's really freaking long. So, in order for it to be the correct length, I had to stack two more glow plug washers and test it out in the cylinder head, and it's still, well, it's just the right length now after three washers. So, then we have our Tigon fuel line for chainsaws. We're going to use this, uh, and my source of gasoline is going to come from my 041 AV, which is sitting over there, which has 25 to 1 mix in it currently. I think 25 should, to 1 should be enough. Um... I don't know if this is going to work or not. This is kind of like maybe a part one um, or something. <laughs> so, again, this is the glow plug we're using right here. So, I don't recommend doing this to any engine that you really want to keep or whatever. I know that Dynamite has their gas glow engine and there's a few other companies that make them. But, um, I don't know if the internals are different or anything about it. So, uh, the Pro 15... I do have a new piston and sleeve on the way. Actually, they screwed up and sent it to, I don't know where they sent it to, but um, they're sending me two for free, so that's cool because of the troubles. So they should be here within the month from Korea. I know, kind of an odd place to order it from, but it was the cheapest. Uh, so yeah, anyways, I guess this will be like a bit of a part one to this. Um, or maybe I'll just wrench on it right now and we'll see where we get. I don't know. And these neighbors upstairs are friggin' pissing me off. Those people never learn. Anyways, I'm going to pause you guys for now and stick this fuel line on here and uh, see where we got. All right, guys. Okay, guys. So here's the glow plug that goes in the RC10 GT. This is a McCoy MC59 standard plug. And you can see with the gasoline plug how much longer it is. My camera's kind of the shits today, but... Anyways, it's probably about, oh, I don't know, maybe five millimeters long. It's pretty long. I'm trying to, yeah, you can kind of see there. It's it's fairly long, so try to line it up. There we go. Yeah, it's quite long, so anyway. Put that in there with three washers, and we're going to put the fuel line on and get back to you here shortly. Okay, a bit of an update. So we have the uh, nitro tubing pulled off. We're going to install some. Uh, Tigon fuel line. It's just a pain in the ass to get it on there because it's so hard compared to the uh, silicone. But we're going to have to obviously use this because the gas and will eat the silicone. Uh, another concern people have had, um, it's going to destroy the O-rings in my tank. Well, yeah, I already know that. Um, I have extra O-rings and I also have a brand new tank. This one already leaks a little bit, so I'm not too concerned about that. Hang right on. I'll be back momentarily. Okay, so, uh, fuel line is on, glow plug is in, we're good to go there, um, got the old tuning screwdriver, I have no idea what's going to happen, I don't know if this is going to work at all, so, uh, if it does, well then right on, if it doesn't, well I wasted $7, so, just so you guys actually know I'm not bullshitting, there is my 041, I'm going to suck some gas out of it. Uh, for gas cap is super tight. Does anyone have a factory gas cap for this thing? Mine's no good. Oh, the, why is the fuel red? It's got clots in it. That's fine. This is regular gasoline, I think. Pretty sure it's regular with like, I don't know, 20 or... 25 to 1 or 16,000 to 1. I have no idea. It's freaking really rich. And you guys have seen the video of this saw. It smokes like hell. So it's also because the muffler is filled with oil from the last owner who was an idiot. But there we go. 
I don't know if this is actually going to work or not because there is sea foam in this fuel, like a little bit. So, but, um, <laughs> I don't know. This is going to be interesting. I don't have a lot of recording space left, so if it cuts off and there's a part two, you'll wonder why. Right. Fill the gasoline. This thing might go nuts. I have no freaking idea. Wait a sec, I'll be right back. Should have cleaned my one way bearing. It's a little skiffy, which makes starting a big pain in the ass. Well, I need to take my pull starter apart because my one way bearing is slipping so bad I can't get it to start. What the fuck am I supposed to do with that? All right, so I'm gonna take that apart and clean it out. I'll be right back. All right, well, that's a little better. Yeah. Well, surprise, surprise, it doesn't work. <laughs> oh. Sounded like it just tried to, but I don't think it's gonna. <clears throat> Maybe it needs to preheat for a long time. Oh, I just heard signs of life, <laughs> boys and girls. Hold on, see if I'm gonna do it again. Let's see, come on. It's really hard to do it because it's slightly flooded at the moment, too. Bump start box. It's fucking exhausting. Get a little more air. Oh! Oh my god, it worked! <laughs> Holy shit, it worked! Oh yeah! Woo <laughs> yeah, yeah! Oh my god, that was running on gasoline. <laughs> Oh, oh, it smells just like a two-stroke. Like, really? Doesn't sound very good. Oh, oh my god! Sideling, kind of. It's going to take a lot of tuning. Oh, it smells in here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you just saw that running on gasoline. On gasoline, out of my chainsaw, you just witnessed that. Anyways, there's going to be a part two, guys. Holy crap, I can't believe it actually worked. My arm is going to fall off. I need to take a break. Thanks for watching, people.